Welcome to this video. Continuation of the former video. Legacy from Cro-Magnon or from the place they came from and their common ancestor there. 1. Cro-Magnon came from Asia? The first wave of modern humans in Europe, initial Upper Paleolithic, left no genetic legacy to modern Europeans. J.M., so a second wave of early humans or Cro-Magnon, J.M., 37,000 BP, did, this is how I understand it. 2. No window for interbreeding? There is not sufficient time for interbreeding, consequently it also does not serve to explain and justify the many and increasing number of waves of hybrids. The paradigm of this is, that the second wave of Cro-Magnon is dated to 37,000 BP, this while the Neanderthals went extinct between 40,000 to 35,000 years ago. In an earlier in-depth related scientific publication study by myself, I concluded that there had not been, significant, interbreeding between Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal, other videos. What I can say now, is that most and the most important interbreeding markers were never found or proven. Therefore, interbreeding between Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal is nothing more than a hypothesis, and a quite paradigmatic one. Why would both Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal go extinct if they had such an intimate and fruitful partnership and or relationship? 3. 1 and 2 do not support, well, out of Africa. They support the Austronesian expansion direction and the Y-DNA haplogroups D and D directions. 4. 1 and 2 do not support, well, interbreeding with Neanderthals. Possibly Neanderthals have been submitted or enslaved by Cro-Magnon for labor, and eaten, cannibalized, in times of need, El Cidron, North Spain, possibly not by the ones that killed them, but by the first that find them after they were killed. The situation in El Cidron seems to have been this one, because it is difficult that their own people, the ones they protect, would kill and eat their own guards inside a kind of difficult to reach fortified place. Something similar to what happened with H. Nality, one more enigmatic and hard hybrid, in the Star Cave, Rising Star Cave system, in South Africa. Something similar to what happened with the group in Cima de los Huevos, which is again in Spain. All these examples are in areas rich in mines and or directly related to mines. All fossils were kind of dumped or buried in the mine and present bad health and injuries. It is a fact that working and long stay in mines can prove to be very unhealthy, especially if it is forced labor and they are very poorly fed or fed with not appropriate food. These examples further deliver support or evidence 1, for hard hybrids 2, for out of America, Austronesian expansion routes and D and E expansion routes and 3, support against out of Africa or in disfavor of out of Africa. In other words the clear recognition of Cro-Magnon and evidence of Cro-Magnon turns into clear evidence or additional support for out of Americas and Amerindians, confirming the scientific fundamentals and ancestrality markers. The arguments once used in favor of the Solutrean hypothesis prove the relation between Europeans and Amerindians, and add up to more evidence of out of Americas and in turn out to be in disfavor of the consensus position. This means no overlapping, for interbreeding, or maximum 2000 years window for supposed interbreeding. The waves came from Western Asia and consequently not from Africa. JM, certain out of America routes lead to Europe, although later than most other routes. 1. Through the Ob River, and possibly Yenisei River. While this is not accepted as a route by consensus, the Beringia route was and still is, and the much older routes, ancient Northeast Asian route, possibly initially they were thought to not be Amerindians and to be the ancestors of the Amerindians. Nevertheless it is obvious there was a route, and that a route was, once, recognized, possibly because it was convenient for consensus at that time to recognize that particular route, ancient Northeast Asians, and still today, out of Africa. The fossils of ancient Northeast Asians were and still are dated 25,000 BP. With ancient Northeast Asians, once supposed to have been the ancestors of the Amerindians. But now they are recognized as Amerindians that migrated out of Americas, this clearly contradicts the out of Beringia hypothesis supposed to have taken place 12.600 BP, or any date later than 25,000 BP. I see all this as an indication, or even a soft proof, that Cro-Magnon and modern humans came from the same place and from the same common ancestor. I will argue and give evidence further down, and in other videos, that that was from the Americas and not from Africa. This is the end of this video. To be continued. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.